Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. Today we are going to build the Bang God. And not only are we going to build the Bang God, we are going to build it with the one and only DJI. Let's go. All right, pilots, so diving right into the Bang God build you're going to see that I've already assembled the frame. I didn't put it all the way together, like for example, the top plate, I didn't put the top plate on because I'm not ready for it yet. But I went ahead and assembled the body. Uh, Machine Catalyst Works, he has a full build video on this frame. It's about an hour long, he goes into depth about everything you need to know about this frame. So I've got nothing to say to you about this frame. So one really cool thing is, yes, I have jumped on the bandwagon and I do have DJI. As you'll see here, I've got the goggles, I've also got the radio, and I absolutely love it. I did the mod, I'm running 1200 milliwatts, and I don't get range or video in my Fat Sharks or any other type of ETX like I do with this system. So I love it and for now I'm going to fly it. No, I'm not giving up my analog as you'll see here. I will still run my analog because I love that too. These are a 2.5, yep. Alright, let's go ahead and see what our length looks like. If I slide that through, there's just a teeny bit of bite there. Okay. These are actually going to work. They never work. And the reason why, too, is I always run skids. But on the Bang God, you have a brace here that doesn't allow you to run a skid. So I'm not running skids on this one. I did find some bumper guards deals that soft mount your motors at the same time. But I really didn't like the way they printed, so I threw them away. I did print a GoPro mount. I will get into that more later as we move along. After you get all four motors in, then I snug them up. I don't, I don't snug them up right away. I like to get them all on first. Now, if you have Loctite, go ahead and use it. All right, pilots, what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me put on all four motors. I put one on. I'm going to put the other three on, and then we'll meet back here in the middle. All right, pilots, so we are back. I had to get a little bit longer screw because here in the front where the brace is, and if you order the additional brace, you'll have a brace back here. You will need a longer screw to get you to fit. So what I did is I took some of the washers that came with it and I took the longer screw, I put it through the washer and then I grabbed the brace, the arm and the motor all in one shot as per design. These screws are a tad bit long so they do protrude out the top of the motor. If you have that happening, be sure you are not touching the copper. Okay, so that one's done. And they're sticking up, but they are not touching the copper. All four motors are on. You can see that they are big and healthy, and they look really good like that. I think so as well. I like the bigger motors. I think it's a very nice look. The black on black on black. I love it. And next thing we're going to do is we are going to figure out mounting for our ESC. Now, your speed controller might be a different size or it might be a different shape, whatever it may be. So you might not be mounting the same way as me, and that's okay. All right, pilot, so I found four of these screws here. They're a tad bit longer, but they're enough to go through the bottom plate, through the ESC, and then grab my stack screw. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in now. All righty, so there's our ESC mounted and looking good. Next up is going to be our flight controller, and no, we are not ready for it, but I do want to put it on and just see what it looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. That is nice, and you get your plug. You get a cool little sticker pack if you're into the stickers. And if you rip this out, you got a nice little storage for some extra screws. 
One thing I want to recommend to pilots, all pilots, when you guys are building a new quad and you just opened a new flight controller, before you put any solder on that thing or put a soldering iron even near that thing, plug it into the PC, put it on beta flight or KISS or FL1, whatever you're flying, and make sure it turns on and it works. Because if you go soldering all over that thing and then it doesn't work, whose fault was it really? Just saying. The front was giving me a hard time because this is TPU and if I touch it with the iron, it ain't going to be TPU no more. So I went ahead and demounted it. It didn't affect anything. We'll put it back on after we're done. We just have to keep in mind that it's going to sit there so we don't want our wires to go that way. <clears throat> so. I'm going to do my best. I might bring the wires around like this and then lock them down with a zip tie or whatnot. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this a little braid. And we will see if that's a nice look or not. Yeah, see that? That's a nice, easy way to clean up your motor wires, keep them together. We're gonna hug right there, and then the first thing we need to do is we need to trim it. So we're gonna trim all three of these to the right length. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that just like that. We're gonna pretend it's there. Now, we'll go ahead and cut them all the way off. and then we'll strip them. Now, we need to go ahead and tin them. All right, so that's one, two, and three. And we're gonna tin our pad because that's where our connection's gonna be. So let's go ahead and hit our pads real quick. All right, so now you see that all of our pads are tinned on this side. Now I'm gonna grab these wires and I will solder them to their pad. In beta flight, we can correct anything. So if this is actually motor one and we're soldering it to motor three, that could be a problem. Your quadcopter will not fly like that. But in beta flight, we can correct all that as long as you know how and as long as you do it with the props off. All right, grab yourself a pair of tweezers. Grab your iron. I got to get the correct angle because that part is important. Alrighty, I'm going to give that a quick trimming. So I grab that and just snip half of it off. Alright pilot, so that is motor number one. It is braided, looking good, and it is soldered up. And I tried to keep them at an angle, because we gotta keep in mind we have to get this right there, and possibly even forward a little bit. So we don't want to have them coming straight out hitting this. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna solder up the other three, and we'll meet back here in the middle. So that's a nice clean way to do your wires if you've got nothing else. I'm going to add a zip tie here just to hold them down and we don't have to deal with uh, the props getting them. Now good practice for future is you can run your wires along the side here or even underneath or use race wire to help with prop strikes. But I don't know, I've been pretty lucky I haven't had any prop strikes lately so I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna roll without it. The next thing that we're gonna do is we need to go ahead and we need to put back on our front bumper camera holder piece. We need to put this back on. 
So before we put it back on, I do want to put the DJI camera right through here because there's a little groove, so I'm going to utilize that. I would spin the wire and face my up, up. And actually, before I put this on, I want to show you this little doohickey here. And I know it looks weird and you're like, what is that? But what this actually is, is it's a camera mount. So you would drop your wire in just like that and then you slide this in and it doesn't hold with any screws but once that's in and you put this inside of here and then you run your bar through the top and it pinches it, I mean this thing ain't going nowhere. And it's a really cool design, very very smart. And if you're not running a GoPro, this will work great for you. I wasn't sure if it would work with the GoPro. Now that it's printed, I know that it does not work with the GoPro, so I can't use this. So I'm not going to use it. But if you're interested in using this, then I will put a link for you down in the video description and give all credit to the guy that designed it because I did not. Now, if you're unsure why, I'm gonna show you why. This is the Hero 8 GoPro mount. I use the Hero 8, it slides in here and it goes on top. Well, it actually uses this exact spot. So we can't have that because this needs to go in place of that. And that is how the GoPro mount goes. So that's why I will not be using this guy here. And we are in. Let's see if there's any play there. Oh, there's plenty. Well, once we lock it, there won't be. So I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that we mount our camera now. Catalyst Machine Works did give us these little spacer dealios and I believe that those are for the camera. Our next step is going to be to get wires from the DJI to the flight controller. It is not the best decision to put your DJI camera wire or any wire, that fact, right on top of your ESC. You do not wanna do that. It'll add some extra noise for no reason. But in my situation, I don't have many options. All right, so I found the pinout to this flight controller. It was fairly simple. It started with VBAT and then it went to, I believe, telemetry, ground, current sensing, and then the four motors. And then on this side, we had a, we had I had to pull a couple pins. We had ground. We had a five volt, which was very nice. That was really nice that they offered that for us. We had a five volt there, and then we had current, telemetry, and the four motors. So it didn't take very long. I swapped a few pins just to make it work. You might have to do the same for yours unless you bought the ESC that belongs to this stack. Then you don't have to do any of that. All right, so I'm gonna pop that in. I need to pop this into my ESC. And it's very important that you make sure it's all the way in and don't push so hard you rip the connector off. But you wanna make sure it's all the way in. So there you go, so our flight controller is now connected. I'm gonna give the wires a little spin and I'm gonna spin this up just a little bit just to help with any of the noise that might be around. Okay, so that's one. And that's two. So now our antennas are set up. So one thing that is super awesome that makes this all so very easy is you get this harness right here. And this gets your air unit to your flight controller. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in now. And it is dummy proof, that is the wrong side. Boom. And then we need to plug this side in. So next up is to get this antenna set. And it is just an MMCX connector, but you still wanna make sure that it's, it's pushed on all the way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use zip ties to hold this down because now that our DJI air unit is in, we want it to be secure. Make sure you go underneath the wires and not over. 
if your wires are even running there you might have them running somewhere else it will use some type of plier and give it a pull I mean that thing is tight already but I'm still gonna do one more because that air unit should have been called money unit All right, Pots, so our air unit is in. Everything is coming along just nicely. The next thing to do is to go ahead and put on our XT60. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now to do that, I wanna go ahead and pull this flight controller out of my way. It doesn't hurt to take the nut off and just lift it off and set it aside. Isn't that nice? So now we can go ahead and work on that. All right, so we need an XT60. It comes with a capacitor and two little pieces of heat shrink. We are going to possibly utilize that. I'll see. Now, the Bang God does come with something pretty cool, and that's this little rubber grommet right here. And you use that by slipping your XT60 leads through that. And then that, later on, is going to go inside of here. So I have put this rubber on, that way we don't lose it. I'm gonna recommend going up high with it so you don't melt it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this soldered on. And keep in mind that that is right here. So we wanna, we wanna solder in an upwards direction. I might even just stand it straight up, just like that. So we'll figure that out as we get there. And then we will put on a capacitor to keep everything safe and sound. So grab some solder, grab your iron, and let's get rolling. I personally recommend using a lot of solder when it comes to your XT60, but that's your prerogative. You do whatever makes you happy. I feel like it is very important to have a strong, strong hold. So now I'm going to take some solder and stand it up like that and get it on my leads. Now we're going to go ahead and get this put on and make sure your polarity is correct. It's very important. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Once we put that there, it'll fall right into place. Okay, pilots, our ESC is done. Our XT60 is done. It's time to put our flight controller back on. And there we go. Alrighty, so our nuts are on. Our flight controller is looking good. Next thing to do is to power up and see what it sounds like. Now, before you guys power up anything, make sure you always have a smoke stopper. It is a six cell quad, so I'm going to use a six cell battery. You can still test power up with a four cell if you want. All right, wish me luck. It appears the air unit has a green light right here. So it must be very happy. ESC came on, flight controllers on. Everything is on and well. So the very last thing to do is to power up without the XT60. Man, those motors sound strong. And let's go ahead and put our top plate on now. Okay, that is in. That is extremely cool. I like that. All right, now we're going to drop this on down. 
and slide it forward. Okay, pilots, putting on the top plate is a lot of work. Holy schmoly. All right, pilots, that is how you build the Catalyst Machine Works Bang God with the DJI Air Unit. See what we got here? All right. Well, 468 with no battery. It's tailor made for the DJI Air Unit. As you saw, it was all plug and play. This was a stupidly easy drone to build. I hope that you guys enjoyed the build. I hope that you'll enjoy the flight footage, and I'll see you on the next one.